From Jessica re-debuting in a Chinese girl group to Karina directly addressing the haters, the tea from this week has been piping hot. So let's not waste any more time and get into it right away. Nayeon has made history once again. According to the latest chartings released by Billboard for the week of August 6, Nayeon's first solo album, I'm Nayeon, is still charting on Billboard 200 and has currently occupied the 181st spot on the chart. This basically means that the album has been charting for five weeks now. The album debuted at number 7, which made her the first K-pop soloist to ever chart on the top 10, then landed on number 21 on the second week, 86 on the third week, and at 135 on the fourth week. This makes Nayeon the only soloist whose album has been charting for five consecutive weeks in the history of Billboard 200, and she also extended her record of having the album by a K-pop solo artist with the most number of weeks charting on Billboard 200. Congratulations to Nayeon! New Jeans have also broken some records of their own, even as mere rookies. New Jeans' debut album, New Jeans, has reached 2.06 million streams, 226,000 cumulative listeners, and 88,000 followers on Spotify on the day of its release. In all three categories, the group recorded a record amongst all the girl groups that debuted this year. The songs have been charting well too, as Attention and Hype Boy have been ranking as number one and two on the Korean Spotify Daily Top Song Chart for two consecutive days, and Cookie and Her ranked four and five. Congratulations to them! Blackpink are really about to shake the girlies up with Born Pink and overtake the entire industry. Not only will the album be a full-length one following the release of the album two years ago, but the comeback will also feature two music videos which have reportedly finished shooting. To make things all the more exciting, these music videos will be the videos with the highest production cost in YG history, which means that they're about to come in hot. Can't wait to see what they've been cooking up for us. Former EXO member Lil Han has gotten into trouble once again. In April, he was criticized by Korean netizens after he was seen walking drunk on the street after he went drinking with his girlfriend and some of his friends. Onlookers said that he was so drunk that his girlfriend and one of his friends had to support him. He was caught drunk in public once again as his drunkness became quite a hot topic on online media outlets. On August 2nd, Chinese media caught him walking drunk on the streets as he was leaving a party with friends. Based on the reports, he was so drunk that he bumped into his acquaintances repeatedly as he wasn't able to control himself. Makes no sense why he's getting criticized for this. He's a grown man who's drinking for fun and isn't hurting anyone, so why is he getting so much backlash for doing stuff that most people do? Irene hasn't been able to rest from controversies. Ever since her attitude scandal last year, it seems like everyone has been waiting for her to make a mistake in order to criticize her for it. For example, when her reality show was announced and the premise of the show was that she would go on vacation with staff, people saw it as a cheap attempt from SM to save Irene's reputation and turn the public's attention around because of the scandal last year. On July 29th, an article with the title, Irene's recent status when she went on vacation with a close staff was posted all over online communities. The writer of the article pointed out that the premise of the show was that Irene would be spending more time with staff and criticized it saying, The news says, Irene recently went on vacation with her close staff so that she will reveal her comfortable and unpretentious appearance through entertainment programs. However, the photos taken at the actual vacation spot are a little strange. Range. They attached pictures of Irene and the SM staff at the airport in Bali. In the pictures, netizens pointed out that Irene is walking alone, only carrying a shoulder bag while the staff was seen dragging an airport cart with a lot of luggage. Netizen started attacking Irene for letting her friends carry all her luggage. The writer went on, The photo was taken in Bali on May 23rd. The staff is dragging all the luggage and they say that she went with close friends. Who goes on vacation with a close friend and asks them to carry all her luggage? It's really disgusting. However, some people came to her defense, seeing the article as quite dramatic compared to the real situation. The media outlet 10 Asia said, If I don't pull the airport cart, will it be a disgrace? Then does one of the other staff members also use their power over their colleagues? The fact that Irene told the staff to pick up all the luggage is nowhere near it. According to People Online, the author of the article knows that the public isn't the biggest fan of Irene right now. Being aware of this, they also knew that it would be easy to taint her image even further and have people pile on her for no reason based on a photo that we don't know the context of. Thankfully, the netizens didn't fall for this trick. One of them commented, When idols or celebrities are seen pushing their own luggage, people will be like, what's their agency doing? Where's their staff? But when it's Irene, people are quick to accuse her of being a bad person. And this whole controversy came out of a women's community that is full of psychos who use anonymity to hate on idols. Truer words have never been spoken. The 
article has since been deleted. It's a known fact among K-pop fans that Aespa are one of the most hated groups of their generation. From the concept, to their music, to the members themselves, netizens just can't stop picking out reasons to hate the group for. But how do the members deal with hate? Karina spoke openly about this, saying that even though the group received lots of praise after they debuted, there was also quite a lot of hate directed towards them. She said, We received a lot of positive feedback after our debut, but since we were SM's newest girl group, there were negative reactions as well. Kadina went on, So we did have a hard time back then. Now we have many fans and receive a lot of support and love. But in our debut days, it was hard. Sure, the members had to learn how to be stronger over time, but they weren't always so strong. She said, At first, we cared a lot about it, but now we think those are also forms of attention. You know how the saying goes, the opposite of love is not hate, it's apathy. So we just try to see the good things and move on. The confession really touched netizens who were sad that the members went through this so early in their careers. A netizen commented, The kids seriously suffered so much. My heart hurt so much when I first saw them. They deserve this. Let's succeed even more. Another wrote, Of course they had it hard. If I were them, my mentality would have been so shattered that I wouldn't be able to even promote. These girls seriously need a break from netizens. It's become too much. Jay Park recently performed at the MIK Festival 2022 concert in London, but the performance left a bad taste in others' mouths. After he performed, some started accusing him of using the N-word during the performance. And netizen claimed that she heard Jay Park yell the N-word during the performance, but was proven wrong quickly by others. She even admitted that she misheard it, yet didn't delete the post. This made Jay Park himself come out to address the rumors as he said, London was awesome, and yes, I shouted out Dua Lipa because we're in the UK. Just because Jay Park doesn't have the best history, it doesn't mean that we can just go around and accuse him of stuff that he never did. What good does that do? Jessica is re-debuting in a Chinese girl group. After taking part in the Chinese audition program Sisters Who Make Waves Season 3, she ended the show in second place, meaning she'll be a part of the group along with Taiwanese singer and actress Cindy Wong, who came in first, and Jillian Chong from the Hong Kong girl group Twins. As she came in second, Jessica read out a letter of thanks she had written to everyone who had supported her. She said, It's always been my fans who were by my side ever since I was little. Not only did they help me to get here, but they also taught me what unconditional love and sacrifices are. They made me laugh with fun stories as well. She teared up as she went on, It's hard to put my gratitude and love into words, but I really want to still just tell them how I feel now. I would like to express my sincere gratitude to every one of them. I hope there will be many more days we can walk next to one another. Netizens have had a lot of thoughts about her re-debuting, but some of the concern has gone towards the fact that Jessica is going to be bandmates with Julian Tong, who's the ex-girlfriend of Jessica's current boyfriend, Tyler Kwan. Netizens commented things like, what the heck, current girlfriend and ex-girlfriend in the same group? Though, I don't know why people are focusing on this at all when Jessica is going to be an idol again. That's the important part. Share your thoughts in the comments, and thank you for watching. Bye!